Righty ho, it's Carl with another Studio Hi-Fi video and what you've just seen me open is the brand new Rose RS520 £3,399 all-in network streamer 250 GFA watts per channel with all of the ins and outs in the world so we've got fibre in and out coax, digital coax in and out we've got analog line in analog line out for power amps and such we've got three USBs so one of them is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth receiver the other two for audio SSD things like that can have a uh, SATA hard drive in you know internally so you can control that PC audio so USB A has HDMI out so you can use the rose tube feature on your TV in 4K uh, whilst listening to the internal amplifier from, on your speakers and uh, lo and behold HDMI eARC in so you turn your telly on turn your amp on it plays your telly through your amplifier it is a relatively simple thing to be on a product like this is something that that everyone should be doing really because I'm always stuck in a dilemma do I use my uh, dedicated home cinema amplifier for listening to music do I bring in you know one of my other amplifiers and just have a two channel system and I know you know first world problems and all that but there is a dilemma there between the two and I'm, I'm stuck smack bang in the, in the middle of it and that's why I have um, two amps at all times I have my AV amp which runs my AV system and then I have a, a standalone which runs my, uh, you know, my, my stereo speakers. So, yeah, I hope you can see from the picture because something that caught me out was the form factor. I assumed it was the same as the RS150 uh, in, in terms of its width, but was just slightly taller. So I thought it was a bit of a monster. Whereas this is, it doesn't line up with any of the other form factors of any of the other products they make. It's slightly slimmer and the same height, which makes it look quite chubby. So I've not had it on, although because it's using half of the RA180's amplification and the guts from a mixture of the 201 and the 150, I've got a feeling it's going to be quite special. So uh, I am going to fit this in this week and uh, yeah, but we're fully behind Rose. Hi-Fi Rose, I understand, you know, it's a new kid on the block as a strange name so I, I get people are, uh, are a little tentative a little scared of it at the moment but that will come around because these aren't they're, they're not messing around solid products the streaming software is really nice to use the control app and um, dropouts are just non-existent updates over the air so it's constantly got the freshest firmware on there the software doesn't change that much I, I don't like continuous software updates but like I say, over, over the air for things like that. The amplification runs nicely. We know that from the RA180. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a fully functioning, nice to use, lovely to listen to product in that sort of higher end all-in-one bracket. So sort of your your name, Unity, would it be a Nova, Think, things like that, your NAD, M33, and all the other, you know, all-in-one all units, basically. Uh, it, it, this is where it's kind of... I don't know if it's targeted at them, because it, it tends to just... Rose just tend to tread their own path. They don't really seem to follow on or attack, you know, existing markets, but they, they really will get hold of the streaming market, and this all-in-one should, uh, should be something quite special. So, anyway, that's my introductory video for the Rose, the Hi-Fi Rose, RS520 all-in-one network streaming amplifier DAC wizardry. One more thing. This is its remote. It's like a wedge profile to it. Metal face, not heavy. No batteries in it at the moment, but it's not like a substantial, there's no Plinius remote. You can't kill people with it. But uh, nice to use, nice simple decent feedback on the buttons but that is its remote control if you were to use it instead of the app and this is also the RSA 780 CD player a lot of interest in this a lot of people have asked a, a lot of questions about it now any any uh, Rose product like the RS150 or, or the RS520 things like that can be used with this this is a USB CD drive 
apparently the perfect weight for a CD drive. Don't know what it is. 900 and... Doesn't tell you on the back. <laughs> 900 and something grams. 900 grams on the nose. Apparently the perfect weight for a CD player. To be fair, for something this size, it's substantially heavy. It's rock solid. Like a solid piece of billet, I'd imagine it is. Yeah, so it can be used to play, can be used to rip, and as soon as you plug it in, the software recognises it and a CD playing software comes up. So, I'd imagine with one of these in silver, because they come in two different finishes, and with it just sat at the back or on a different part of the rack, probably wouldn't want it there because it's covering those vents. You've brought CD ripping and CD playback to your system for 349 quid. So yeah, that exists. It's available in the link below, or if you want to speak to me about it, or you want to come here and experience it and get all hands on and learn about it. No ethernet connected, but that's okay. We've completed the setup. And there it is, there's the familiar home screen, the familiar Rose home screen. You can of course use this hands on if you like, or everything that it does, you can just do on the Rose Premium app. I find it really nice to use it starts up in an open menu that has collected uh, playlists and things from around the net and based on what you've been listening to and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I imagine through time it will just get slicker and slicker to use. But like I say, these guys aren't, they're, they're, they're not messing around. They're from the sort of smartphone end of the industry where things have got to be silky smooth. They've got to work perfectly. So usually with a product, it doesn't matter how good it is, um, I have some form of flaw, some form of snag and I just cannot pull it out of the Rose product. I, I don't have any snags with them. I, I was, uh, you know, uh, admittedly, when the RS150 was first, uh, which is the big streamer, was first sort of brought out, I was, myself, I was like, this, this won't be as good as it looks. It, it looks great. Usually products that look great, they're not, they don't sound that great. You know, they usually focus in the wrong area for me. They focus more on the convenience than they do on the sound. And uh, it just isn't the case. People need to get in front of Rose products. They need Rose products in their ears and in their functional lives. All right, uh, like I say, I'm fully behind them. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that introduction to this product. I'm Carl, this is Studio In Car with a Studio Hi-Fi video. All right, take it easy.